Hello and welcome to your daily inspiration with Ross. It, it's interesting, I've always believed that people's beliefs create their values and their values create their actions. And this is true. But there's also other things at play. There's, I'm not sure if you've heard of the DISC profiling, but the DISC profiling talks about four personality types. And inside of that, there are certain behaviors that are associated with certain DISC types. And, and I'm sure this actually feeds back into their belief system as well. And then some of the things that I noticed in human behavior that you can see in a very different light once you understand them. So a great example is a matcher or a mismatcher. <clears throat> when you're in a conversation with someone, a matcher will agree with you quite happily and say, yes, you're right, you're right. A mismatcher may be inclined to actually disagree and look for where what you're saying doesn't apply. Now, they're not trying to contradict you. They're not trying to upset you. They're literally just trying to... That's, that's the way they process things. They look for where it doesn't match. Now, both these personality types have their uses in verse certain situations. Sometimes being a match or a mismatch, it can be very powerful. But as a human being, we might misunderstand it. So next time you're with someone and they say something that makes you feel... Um, that... that confronts you or makes you feel something you don't like, pause for a minute, don't react to it, and perhaps try and analyze what has really just happened. Because people aren't usually trying to upset other people. But sometimes we do it incidentally. You know, the, the classic story of, oh, I didn't talk to them for 20 years, and then finally we, because of something they said, and then we caught up, and it was all just a big misunderstanding. So really, next time someone's talking, and they say something that doesn't seem to fit in with your values, your alignment or something else, perhaps just take a moment to consider that they're not trying to upset you, they're just approaching life differently and that's okay. Have an awesome day, powerful communications and I really look forward to catching up again soon. This has been Ross with your daily inspiration.